Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss uh, about one of the very important topic regarding security point of view, specifically from network security point of view. And that is about cryptography and generally we refer to them as encryption and decryption. So we'll be discussing about the basics of that. And to illustrate the idea, let's suppose that we have one sender and we also have a receiver. And let's say this sender has got a message and this sender wants to send that message using wired or wireless medium. So for example, I have taken a wireless medium through which the sender is sending the message to the receiver. But there are always a chance that there can be a third party which we call as adversaries. They can actually read our message. They can hear our message or they can steal our message. And now to avoid this situation, for example, in our, mess, in our case, we have this message and then we pass this message through a process and then that process is going to convert our message that can be any message. So that will, that process will convert that message into something different from the original message. I'll say we call that it will convert the original message into a code and then this code is basically transmitted to the receiver or the destination and at the receiving end we use a process which is basically the inverse process which we did at the transmitting end so this inverse process will actually convert back or this will actually give our message back and we will have our original message and this is done. So when the message was in the transit, this was in a coded form and nobody could actually read it or hear it. Now, important point is about this process, which is going to convert the message into a code and then we are sending it. And then the uh, reverse process of that uh, of the original process is actually giving us the original message back and this is actually a field and this is known as cryptology cryptology is a science of making and breaking secret code so we, we made a code like at the transmitting end so cryptology itself comprises of two fields one is known as cryptography where we make code and uh, then we have crypto analysis where we actually break those codes. So specifically, cryptography means that hidden, so it means hidden writing. And in cryptography, actually we construct, or we can say the construction and use of rules, protocols, codes, or secrets to hide information is known as cryptography. The cryptography is where we make these codes and these rules and purpose is to hide the information. On the other hand, crypto analysis is about ways or techniques to read the hidden information from the codes or secrets. So crypto analysis are just breaking up the codes that what is actually in the uh, hidden information or what is actually in that code. Now, uh, we, let's say that in, in our previous slide, we discussed that uh, instead of transmitting our original message, which we call, so for example, our original message, say we specifically call them plain text. So instead of transmitting the plain text, we actually process it and then we convert it into a code. So let's give them a specific name. Let's say this, we call it as cipher text. And then this cipher text is actually transmitted to the, to the destination. But the process of converting this original text into secret message is known as encryption. So the process from going this plain text to cipher text is actually known as encryption. So this is encryption. And this is actually is known as encryption algorithm. So the message itself. So the process itself is known as uh, is known as encryption algorithms 
and these are basically some mathematical formulation like see here there is some logic there which is going to convert this plain text into ciphertext so during this process we use a key and that key is used to encrypt the message so in that encryption in this algorithm we also feed a key that could be like a password or any any string there like x y z a dollar sign like this one so this is the key which is being used here and yes now this message is actually sent to the destination and at the destination we have the inverse process what we did at the transmitting end and yes so we receive the ciphertext and we have the inverse process like this one and now this here we use actually the inverse process we call that decryption algorithm and then this decryption algorithm is actually uses so at this stage we also use a key so that key like that can be like any key so maybe the same one or different one we'll see later on but there will again be some string like x y z a b c like this one so we use key to decrypt the message and finally we get the plain text which was actually sent see this was the actual message sent and finally we got our actual message at the destination but when the message was transmitted in between transmitting and receiving actually this code was sent not the actual message so that no third party should be able to read our message you want to avoid this situation and now this this process actually let me remove it so the process of converting the cipher text back into the original message is basically known as decryption. So this process is decryption on this sign we have decryption and on this end we have actually the encryption of our message. And then we have in between we have the code not the actual message. Now as we saw that the actual magic lies in the algorithm in the encryption and decryption algorithm where we are going to generate the the code and then we call them cryptographic algorithm but when we are just converting text messages or some plain text messages specifically in computer communication we call them like uh, encryption algorithm so generally cryptographic algorithm is specifically encryption algorithm and these algorithm are actually defining the steps to encrypt and decrypt the plain text okay so we have these uh, encryption algorithm or cryptographic algorithm and uh, they are actually defining the steps to encrypt and decrypt the plain text message and these algorithm itself are divided into two categories so first category is known as symmetric algorithm so we can say the symmetric encryption algorithm or symmetric cryptographic algorithm and in this case okay so one is symmetric and second one is asymmetric and so in a sorry in first one in symmetric algorithm actually they use the same key to encrypt as well as decrypt the message so for example we have this message at the transmitting end this message so to encrypt this message as well as to decrypt the message at the destination we use the same key you see we have the same key here to encrypt as well as decrypt the message so this is actually a symmetric algorithm and this symmetric algorithm is actually known as private key encryption so the second name for this can be like private encryption say so i have mentioned this one here so the same symmetric encryption is also known as private key encryption and now the second one is asymmetric encryption or asymmetric algorithm or asymmetric encryption algorithm here two different keys are used to encrypt and decrypt the message so let's say at the encryption end or the transmitting end we use a different key you can see here so this is the different key to encrypt the message and to decrypt the message we use a different key so it means we have we are using different keys two two keys and this is known as asymmetric algorithm and uh, the second name for the same algorithm is public key encryption so i have mentioned this one as well here so this is also the public key encryption or asymmetric 
algorithm or asymmetric encryption algorithm. So actually generally we call them a cryptographic algorithm and specifically we call them encryption and decryption algorithm. So we were talking generally about the like uh, communications. So this was just a brief introduction about this uh, cryptography and encryption and decryption algorithm and we'll discuss more about this asymmetric algorithm and uh, symmetric algorithm in some some of our future videos and we'll see that how they are used where are actually these uh, algorithm used practically so thank you thank you very much for your time for today and hope to see you in in our next video thank you